Today I want to talk about another one of my mods uh, to the interior of the FJ. Most of the mods I've done to this car have been interior mods, um, strictly because I, I found a lack of certain creature comforts that I've tried to address uh, within the FJ. Uh, I know the FJ is not a, a luxury vehicle by any means, but you know, it's nice to have certain little creature comforts that you find in some other modern day cars. For example, uh, our other car is a 2010 RAV4 and, you know, it has sun, a sunglass holder in the uh, upper uh, overhead console, which I've been used to. So whenever I, I find myself driving the FJ, I would, I would use this uh, compartment to throw my sunglasses in whenever uh, I'm, I'm done driving. So. I really like to have the convenience of the overhead console uh, sunglass holder in the in the other car that I drive. So I decided, uh, you know, I looked up on the FJ forums and people were actually using some old uh, Honda Civic or Honda Accord overhead consoles uh, for their sunglass holders. So the thing, with, the thing about those was that, uh, you know, the colors matched really well to the gray interior. And uh, some of these units actually had home link, so people were able to program their garages on their overhead console. And this uh, this spot specifically fits the perfect uh, it fits the garage clicker perfectly, so I didn't have a need to integrate my garage clicker into the overhead console. But what I did really want was to have two sunglass holders. Uh, because uh, when I spend time in this car, I'm usually with uh, with my wife and there's two of us so we have you know I wanted to have two sunglass holders so I did a little bit of uh, research and I literally just googled dual sunglass overhead console on eBay and I found one uh, that came off of a Ford F-150 truck and I don't remember the exact years but it looks uh, it looks like this made sure that I bought an overhead uh, unit console with the wiring attached. Now you'll see a lot of these online if you Google them. Um, these units will come without the wires, um, but I made sure to buy one that had the wiring still intact. So I took it to a professional installer, just basically a, an Ed and Al's Auto Sound. And when I got it, it was like a super dark gray. I don't know if that's uh, it's going to show, but you can see the difference between this gray up here and this dark gray because I actually painted it. So what I did was I went to a craft store and I looked, I, I basically pulled off this, uh, this square piece from the grab handle and I took it into a, um, a hobby shop and I basically tried to color match uh, a, a can of spray paint as close as I could. So I, I took that home, spray painted the entire unit and uh, then uh, made sure it matched well. So when I, uh, paid the guys to install this thing they they actually called me up and they said hey there's like a metal there's like a metal bar in the way like I don't know if you can uh, you can install this and somehow they got it done um, you can see that there's like uh, there's two screws up here that are holding it up to the to the top of the uh, the roof lining there uh, they used the old wiring from the uh, the stock uh, overhead map lights and connected the the wires to the the new overhead console uh, the new old overhead console Sure enough the lights work at some point. I will I will try to install Some LED bulbs in there, but for the time being, you know the lights work and I have a functional dual sunglass overhead console Anyway, I will put a link to the description of where I found this uh, below and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be talking about uh, every other little modification that I've done to this FJ and I have a lot. A lot of interior mods. Uh, you can see the stereo here. I've got um, a bunch of exciting things to talk to you guys about. So um, stay tuned.